What's up you guys, it's Joey, and this has been a crazy week at large for the whole world. I mean, the virus has been taking the world by storm, and the stock market is tanking day by day. And you know me, I've had a lot of shares in Tesla stock, and if you saw what's happened to that recently, it's been getting pummeled hard and hard. As of this week, it started off the week at about $900 and has tanked all the way down from 900 to about $615 at the lowest point as of recording this video. Now, I also own a large portion of Tesla shares. So the question is, what happened this week? Did I lose all of my money? What happened? And am I totally okay? Well, the answer to that question is not only did I come out okay, but I've even come out better than when I started this week. I started this week with my investing account at about $43,000. And as of recording this video right now, my account has shot up from $43,000 to $52,000, meaning I was able to get a 25% return on my money while having the market tank and my Tesla shares crash. Given this big thing, how exactly did I do it? And what can you guys learn from my steps as investing? At least what did I do to protect myself to make sure that all of this craziness didn't affect me? So first off, what happened was that on Friday, I still had all my shares, nothing really happened. But after the first drop for Tesla stock, I saw the news that things were gonna look pretty bloody. So what happened was I took the first initial hit dropping my portfolio from about 45k to about 42k so after that i decided i am going to have to protect myself this could be a really bad week so what did i do i just bought a bunch of put options i bought a bunch of put options on tesla what this would do is that it would give me insurance basically what a put option does is that you pay a fixed amount it's called a premium for the put option and if the stock drops a certain amount, that put option will increase in value. So that's exactly what I did. While my Tesla shares tanked and dropped, my put option kept getting much, much, much more valuable, increasing and increasing by the day. So basically what this means is that, sure, the shares kept dropping, but my Vanguard account kept increasing over time. And the best part about this is now the shares are super cheap as well as I have even more money in my account to be able to rebuy the shares at exactly the dip when I eventually have it. I have no clue when this coronavirus will stop and when the market will stop tanking. But what I can be confident about is that I do have my insurance and as long as the shares, the stock price moves in either direction, that, sh that insurance will protect me if it goes down and I'll still have my shares if it goes back up. So. That's exactly how I was able to survive this tough week. And I would say that I'm really happy that insurance kicked in. So what's my strategy going to be moving forward? Well, I'm going to notice that it's going to be a pretty volatile time. So I might keep a lot in cash, but I might also play a few options here and there because I think that I could swing wildly in either direction just to take a little bit of profit from the volatility. But I have to say overall, it's been a great year so far. I mean, basically, I was able to take my initial investment of $26,000 and bring it up to $52,000. And I'd say for myself, that's a pretty good year. And most of that progress has been happening with only the last two months. So I just hope I can continue keeping this. And once the volatility, volatility stops down, I'll just continue buying some normal shares holding them and just holding it for the long run. So that's just my update on this whole virus situation. And let me know what you guys think. How is your stock portfolio doing right now? Just remember, if you are buying and holding these shares that are dropping down a lot, I would say personally that if you think it could go on for a while, I would just sell a certain number of shares. I know that some people will tell you to buy and hold and dollar cost average, but the problem with that a little bit is that if you buy and if you start dollar cost averaging, let's say too high up, then you might actually do what's something called catching the falling knife and bloody yourself along the way down. You might run out of money to keep investing while it keeps dropping. So for me, I 
rather prefer to just sell some shares, keep some good old cash, and finally, be able to, after it starts to rebound and you're pretty confident, you can be a little bit late to the party when it starts to go up. But for me, that's what I'm okay with, being a little bit late to the party when it starts to go up, as well as having the insurance to protect me while it comes crashing down. So anyways, that's what I did, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next update.